haircut. Again, I know I mentioned before that I had pre-melanoma here. It's a big surgery or whatever. Well, I had my annual dermatologist appointment and they found another spot, so. They just did a biopsy. Hopefully the margins are clear so I don't have to get another major surgery like this one because that was horrendous. And it is on my knee on the back side. So I, how would I be able to walk? Like, no. It's time to remove the Band-Aid. Okay, could you imagine having like this on that part of your knee? How much so would that hurt to walk? I don't know. I really hope that it's fine. Check out this massive thing of Vaseline. <laughs> This thing's huge. <laughs> I got the results of my biopsy and they got it all. It was moderately atypical. Essentially, you can have mildly atypical, moderately and severely. The one on my chest that they couldn't really figure out which stage it was is like between moderate and severe. So they were like, yikes, we need to get that out. For this one, it was moderate and they got it all. So we are good. I don't have to have any major surgery. I just got done with therapy. It was absolutely incredible. Something snapped in me when I went to my therapist a few weeks ago and she was like, Brandon, what do you want? What do you want in life? And I was like, I honestly don't know. So I had to sit with myself for a while and I was like, well, I don't wanna be in a relationship. I can't do it right now not gonna get me to what I need to do, not get me to my goal. I wanna move to California. I've always wanted to and I've just been so scared because I get comfortable. So I think it's really important to think about what, what do you want in life? Like, it's so easy to focus on other people and making sure like you're always there 100% for everyone else, but what do you wanna do? Like, what do you wanna do? Like if you actually think about yourself, be like, Okay, you're working at a job that you're surviving at, but what do you really want to do? Like, actually, what do you want to do? So I want to go to California for a year. So in June, Katie and I are going out there. I'm going to talk to the managers out there, see about a transfer. I'm making it happen. I've been making a lot of changes in my life. A lot of it has to do with organization. I don't know if it was just my lack of motivation with seasonal depression or whatever, but I just had no motivation to clean my room, my car, just my schedule. I just, I went 180 this past two weeks. I now make a calendar of all, everything that I have planned so I don't double schedule. I remember everything. I'm keeping clean on my car. Hey, see it right there. My room's clean, caught up on laundry and getting groceries. And I feel so good. I've been going to the gym every day, six days a week, counting my calories and my diet. Not my diet, but I'm trying to gain muscle, so bulking, essentially. But yeah, I'm just like, it really feels good when you actually do make positive changes in your life. Hard to believe, right? You make good changes, good stuff happens. But it's so easier said than done. But like, once you can develop those things into a habit, you wonder why you never did it before and you realize how easy it is. Kind of like how it was for me coming out, like, the thought of it was terrifying and like, I don't even want to go there. But once you get it over with, you're like, why didn't I do that sooner? It's kind of like that with an easy or a healthy habit in life. You're like, once you make that initial push, it's you realize it's not even that big of a deal to do it. But I feel as clean as my car right now, so. We out here, we good. I hope you guys enjoyed that Ask the Bros finale that came out going on here that came out last week it hasn't been filmed yet while well, this is being filmed but i know it's, this is coming out a week after that 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope I hope it's good. I hope it goes well. I hope it did. Because if you're seeing this, it went well, hopefully. All right, so I hope everyone's doing well. Just ask yourself, what do you want in life? Take out all the fear, take out all the obstacles in your way and be like, what do I want in life? And if you can find the steps to achieve that, and I know that's so much easier said than done, but it's like, once you make just, I don't know, like just with this health stuff or with Nate having his brain surgery, it's like life can be taken away at any moment. And like being comfortable is great and all, but it's like, what do you want? What do you want to do? What do you want? Not what do you need to do to make everyone else happy and to make them comfortable? What do you want? Because if people really love you, they will want the best life for you, whether that means moving away from them or whether that means changing your life completely. Do what makes you happy. That's all I can say. The only one that I could really think of is like us going to check out like a Planet Fitness and seeing what it's actually like. Cause like for the people who don't know, like Planet Fitness gets shit on pretty hard. Like you can't shame people who don't want to spend 150 fucking dollars a month on a membership. Like. Yeah, for sure.